Greetings and salutations to you all my good chumps. My name is Richard, this is Gentlemanly Gaming, and welcome back to Throwback Thursday and Borderlands. Last time on the show we made it here to this uh, pub. Lucky's, Lucky's, that was it. We made it to Lucky's in the Dull Headlands and rescued our good boy Lucky here. And uh, yeah, he... Gave us a mission for fast travel, which I'm hoping will actually mean that this game stops being such a massive pain in the ass with the respawns and everything. So hopefully that is something that we can get done today. But it does say that it is level 20, the mission. I'm only level 19 and I do find that the level scaling isn't necessarily on point. In this game so it will say level 20 but really you probably need to be like level 20 21 22 something like that to actually make it work so we're gonna give it a go and try and tackle it because it'll be nice if we can get that activated today so then hopefully the respawns will be stopped being such a pain in the ass but I don't know how well it's gonna go or not so let's give it a try and uh, see how well we actually get on today if uh, if it's something that we can do or not. Uh, I want to switch to this seat I think because I can aim better here. Yep. Now I think this is one that's respawned so there's probably another one out there. But I'm not sure. Hopefully, I'm wrong. And it was just that one. But I have a feeling that there's going to be another one out here. Because I took one out. And I could hear another one. And I'm sure that that's probably just respawn. No, it seems like we're okay. All right, then. All right, let's head. Oh, it's just here. Okay, I'm guessing that stuff's going to go down once I flip the switch. Or... This bit's easy, and the next bit's going to be really hard. Like, because they've given me a very good sniper's nest here. So I have the feeling... We're going to do waves. Because the other one seems to be just there. So either stuff's going to happen when I turn this on, or... We need to do that, and then the master switch is going to be in there, and then that's where it's all going to be going to hell. Let's see what happens, shall we? What the hell is that? Whoa! What the hell are these? What the bloody... Whoa! Whoa, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Get in the other seat. Drive away. What the hell are they? What the bloody hell was that thing? Desert Skithid was that? Okay, so there's like little weird slug things. Yeah, what are you? Just like a, yeah, like a weird slug thing. Okay. Well, that was weird and gross. Is that another one over there? Yeah. Okay, so new enemy types on the map. 
Okay. Interesting to know. Okay, let's uh, be wary of that then. So, yeah, what I want to do is I want to, after I get at, after I flip the switch, I want to get quickly into my, no, quickly into my uh, car again, my vehicle. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, brilliant. Just, just what I needed. Fantastic. Okay. Well, we want to get into this quickly then, don't we? Because, yeah, I can't, uh, I can't do a lot with just a sniper rifle. That's not going to happen. So, yeah, thought I had it all figured out, but apparently not. Apparently we're, uh, where'd you go? Don't know if I can hit it from here. Yeah, I think I'm just hitting the, the blocks, aren't I? Right, so... Thought I, it was just going to uh, spawn him some more of the slug things, but apparently, no. Cars as well. That was helpful. Right, okay. You're done now. Any more? Right, I think we're all right now, but I don't know. Can you just jump up the rock, please? Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. Are they going to spawn in again when I get up here? No. I'm guessing more stuff's going to spawn now, though, right? No? Okay. Yeah, that's where... Uh, that's where it's all going to kick off down there, though, isn't it? It's... Uh, okay, yep. Yeah, something just spawned in. Yeah, the Scythoid things just... Just spawned in. Right, okay. They don't spit or anything, do they? They're not as bad as the skags, because the skags um, are very quick. These seem to be particularly slow. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not really worried about these too much. I just, I guess I just don't want to... They, they seem to be able to spawn underneath me, which is uh, something I would like to avoid, obviously. Because they can just appear. Okay, you're a lot quicker. Okay, you're a lot quicker. I'm guessing that other one was just stuck them, right? Yeah, you're a lot quicker. Right, okay. Okay, so you're gone. There's just one more there. There it is. Right, okay. Whoa, okay. Missed you. Sneaky, sneaky. There we go. Right, okay. What is that? I bet it's rubbish. Uh, it might be better than my repeater, actually. I'm not sure. Right, okay, let's take this nice and slowly, because no idea what's going to spawn in. I'm guessing there's going to be more cars yet, right? There's definitely people in there, isn't there? No? Not gonna... There we go. Yeah, figured as much. 
Right, just standard, yeah, just gonna stay here and just pelt them for a little while until I have to uh, get out and do something. So yeah, I will uh, I will just be here doing this for the time being. I'll, uh, I will see you all in a minute. Oh crap, I wasn't paying attention, they blew up my car. Balls. Uh oh, that's not good. That could lead to a lot of trouble actually. Okay, they're not chasing me. That's good. But I, I kind of don't want to be without the car right now if they're using cars as well. Now, the other problem is I don't know what's respawned here. So I'm a little bit worried about that as well. Because I've been far enough away, things A might have respawned here and B the bandits as well who have got the cars which is why I definitely don't want to be without a car right now because they have cars as well so yeah I, I definitely don't want to be without one right now they're gonna respawn here no, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, good, right. Uh, yeah, again, don't know what the difference is between these two, but they both seem to have the same amount of health. Are you going to... Thank you. They both seem to have the same amount of health, so I generally don't know what the difference is between these two cars. Um, again, if anyone can let me know, that would be great. Uh, right, need to be wary of my health. Need to keep an eye on that this time. Right, there's uh, someone up there. Can I hit you from here? Because I think that you were the guy that was uh, messing me up last time. I don't seem to be doing anything to you though. I'm guessing you're out of spawn range? Yeah, just need to be wary of my car's health a little bit this time because uh yeah i just uh sat here and piling missiles in and unfortunately i think that it uh didn't really pay attention to my car's health so i'm just gonna do that again and uh hope that we do a little bit better this time Okay, lesson learned. Health of the car was starting to deteriorate a little bit. Just backed off, let the health recover, go back in, nuke the area a little bit more. Uh, the problem is, is yeah, that he seems to be, the last one seems to be up on this building up here. And it seems to protect him. Like the railings are basically bomb proof by the looks of it. Am I? Stuck. No, okay, good. Right, let's go back in. Right, yeah, he's just in front here. But the problem is, is he's running around like a lunatic. And then he goes back up there. And yeah, that's the problem. Is These barriers seem to be like nuke-proof. I don't seem to be able to hit him. He doesn't seem to be able to hit me either. Right, is he coming back down? Maybe I can do some damage as he's coming down. Right, definitely hit him there. I saw that. Problem is, though, is yeah, he's a. Uh... Yeah, see, I can't get through there. That's not a gap I can get through. That one is, but again, like I said, look, it's uh, these little barriers in front seem to be nuke proof. Like, he doesn't seem to take any damage, so I think I might need to get off. 
and actually do this in person, it seems like. Lots of stuff here. I'm going to run out of space again, aren't I? Yeah. Right, where are you? There. He moves around a lot, that's the problem. Maybe I can send you out. Will you actually do something? No, of course you don't, because you're useless. I'm talking about leveling you up, but you don't do anything. Alright, let's drop that on top of you then. He's very strong. And his shield comes back very, very quickly. Right, he's throwing grenades as well. That bounced behind me. Maybe I should just get up and punch him. Where are you? Where'd you go? See, melee's strong. But the problem is, is that I can't see where he goes. Okay, you, yeah, melee's not doing anything to you. Okay. No, back off again. Melee's not doing any damage to that guy whatsoever. Okay. Hmm. I'm not the one running around like a psychopath. Tell me I'm scared. Right, come on. He's almost down. There we go. Finally. Bloody hell, that took ages. Right. That looks... Uh, doesn't do a lot of damage, so maybe not. I'm not sure. Alright, let's... Uh, Move on in. I have a feeling that as soon as I hit a switch, everything's going to go to hell again. Can't go in there. Right, okay. Yeah, I have a feeling as soon as I hit that, like, hordes of people are going to arrive on the scene. Can't go in there either. Ooh, there's a lot down there. How do I get down there? Can't get around that way. There's a wall. Okay, I need to go around the front. Okay. Before I hit that switch, I think I'm going to go make use of those boxes. Because otherwise I'm going to forget that they're there. So I'm going to do that before I hit the switch. Now I have the feeling something's going to spawn when I get down, right? There's going to be stuff that spawns in the middle here when I have to get back up again. Not bad shield, but not great okay so let's just take all of this money right now i have to go back round because i can't jump up that high yeah i can't get back up there no no okay fair enough Alright, that's good then. Okay. Uh, right, so let's go and throw this switch and see what mayhem awaits us after that, shall we? Right, oh god, there's a lot of rumbling. Yep, cars. I knew it. Uh, Pandora's fast travel system is now online. This system allows you to quickly travel between any new use station that you have previously visited. To use it, go to the nearby new use station, choose the fast travel tab, and then choose your destination. But, yes, I have just seen that there are... 
Yep, okay, of course. Right, okay, let's pull out the machine gun. That because there's a lot of a uh, lot of guys in here. Oh god, yeah. They're uh, they're killing me, aren't they? Oh crap, not another one of those guys. Right, okay. Let's just get out of here, shall we? Because, yeah, these are, these guys are... He's no joke. This guy is no joke. That's the problem. I can't handle one of these guys. They're too strong. Right, he's down. Hopefully I can finish these two off. And then deal with the cars behind me. Right, okay. They're just... Are they just waving? Are they just going to keep coming? Any more in there? Also, I've just... This new U station I've just turned activated. I've just sent a crap load of artillery in there. We're not worried about doing any damage to it then. Right, yeah, so let's... Right, so they're coming around this hill. So let's see if I can get one in on them. No, a bit too, a bit too late. If I keep firing that anyway, I'll do some damage. Yeah, right, now you're coming at me, which makes it easier. Where's the other one? There was definitely another car. Where's it gone? He's parked over the back. I can see his headlights. I don't know. But it'd be nice if I could arc them. Like drop them in a nice little arc. But I can't do that. Right, okay, let's... Go and take you out then, shall we? You done? Oh no, there's a whole new wave of people coming now. But if they're all on foot... Have they all just respawned again? Oh no, it's the slug things, okay. That's not really that terrifying, so that's fine. I can just run you guys over, you're really not that big a deal. Yeah, see, that's you're you're not very scary, that's that's fine. I thought you were just gonna be a whole host of bandits basically, but yeah, I can just uh run you guys over so that's fine where'd you go oh you're chasing me there we go no you're not right okay so how does this new you this is all done and dusted in here as well There's a, there's a lot of potential money on the floor. All right, 36, no. 23, no. 33 doesn't sound very good either. There's one more that didn't open. Should I be worried about that? I guess not. Uh, right, so can I use... these now that's not a new U station is it no okay right so I gotta get back to hand it into him anyway okay which means that I'm leaving all that money on the floor which is annoying but say la vie right have you are you guys gonna respawn I don't think you guys are I think it's just the slug things that have respawned I don't think these guys have 
Okay. Can I go in this way? Yes. Right. You, buddy, what was your name? Lucky, right? Guess what? I've uh, hopefully fixed all of my problems. Uh, great, the fast travel system is back online. I'll pop on over to Ernest later. Hmm. Don't you have a fast travel pass? I've got a spare. You can have that one. Now you can use fast travel. It lets you teleport to any new use station you visited before. Anyways, I'm feeling a little better now. Want to read the headlines of Ma uh, headlines of Mad Mel? Uh, right. Eliminate bandit runner patrols. Mad Mel has blocked the road to New Haven and spends most of his time terrorising the southern part of the headland. He hardly ever comes up here. If you want him to face you, you'll need to get his attention first. What well, says I'm going to kick your ass better than killing a bunch of his men and destroying a lot of his hardware? Okay, so that's what he wants me to do next. What I am going to do quickly is I'm going to sell the stuff that I don't want and see if I can... Uh, get back up there and see if that stuff's still there. So I'm just going to check that out quickly. Haha! -ha! Yes! I think all of the... Yeah, all of the guns are still here. Nice. Okay. So, take that. Take that. And... Come on. Take that. Awesome. Nice. Okay, so we, we, got, a, we got away with that. That's good. Uh, so I'm just going to go and see if I need to sell them or not. Also, this bounty board is now open, so I'm going to agree to all of them so that they are now scaled to my level. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, they don't they don't level up once you, uh, once you accept them, which is good. So they just stay at the same level. Right, uh, yeah, just going to clear out those guns and we'll see where we go from there. Right, uh, yeah, sold all those weapons. Wasn't any new ones, really, that I wanted to to use at all um so i basically just sold all of the all of the ones i didn't need there wasn't a anything particularly special in there i don't even know if i kept one of them did i uh oh uh, a repeater i, re I just rep uh, replaced the repeater that i had because yeah this one's uh a bit uh better than the last one but nothing particularly that i used uh, right, how about we check out this new fast travel station? Right, so I can fast travel to any of them. All right. So after I finish a mission, does that mean that I can then just fast travel out of there now so that I don't have to deal with all the crap I mean I will still have to deal with some of the crap because these things, these new U stations aren't everywhere so you need to make your way back to the new U station first so you'd have to run back through a bit of a gauntlet anyway but hopefully that makes it a little bit easier also, I'm guessing that makes the cars a little bit obsolete for the running around, but I mean, makes it kind of, I mean, if they, those guys are now coming with, um, let's see if I can pick you off from back here. Damn. No, accuracy's not quite spot on, is it? Ah, there we go. That was nice. Right, you're coming over now, aren't you? How comes that that didn't count as a... As one of the kills? On the right-hand side, look. One of the missions I've got is to kill 50 of them. I just killed two. How comes it doesn't count? How comes I've got to kill them in this one specific area? That's, that's, that's bullcrap. All a load of rubbish. Uh, right, let's see what else we can do today that's level 16 find bruce mclean uh scavenger combat rifle i only need a sight for that uh level 18 level 15 
Okay. There's 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 a couple of low level ones on here. How about we pick off some of the low level ones, shall we? Uh, let's start with find Bruce McLean. Can anyone help me? I haven't heard from my fiance in weeks. His name is Bruce McLean and he lives in a shack out near Zephyr substation. Last I saw him, he was bragging about how rich he was about to become and how he was going to buy us a flight off this planet. Whatever he was up to, I bet it got him into trouble. Please, someone find my fiance. Okay. Now, where is that? Uh, Zephyr substation. I'm pretty sure I've been there before, right? Is the mission... I think that's back out of here, right? Because, yeah, that's... That's to catch a ride. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... I need to head back somewhere else first. So, let's... Where was it? I'm pretty sure I've been to Zephyr Station before. Let's travel to Firestone and start from there because that's a nice safe place to start from anyway, isn't it? Okay, so that, that saves us having to travel all the way back through that nonsense which is good but we do have to tackle the nonsense from this direction that's the only problem so it doesn't completely wipe out everything because this noise is still going to be here which is a bit annoying but they didn't mess with me last time so maybe they won't no they're, they're definitely there this time They're not coming out though. You're not messing with me either. Can I get to this without either of you messing with me? Yes, I can. Okay. How much do these cost, by the way? Or do they just. I don't know if they cost anything. My Zephyr substation is going to be in that direction then. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm pretty sure I've been here before. Was it to uh, the racks or something? Right, okay. I could have gone round. Okay. Yeah, so it's down there. Right, I'm going the way I don't need to go. I don't need to go that way. I need to go down here. I think Zephyr substation. Is that the one... No, I thought it was this one. No, I don't think I have been there before. Now, I'm pretty sure there's not going to be a new U station here either, which means that I need to go back for all this nonsense, which is a little bit annoying. Okay, apparently there are some baddies here, so let's just get rid of these guys. Okay. So... I need to go down so I'm guessing I need to go into that building there then right let's see what was here uh, okay well I'll pick it up because I might be able to sell it so right I yeah I think I need to go into this building here, yeah? Right. No. Maybe not. Hmm, okay. Oh, or maybe so. Okay. Right. I'm pretty sure there's enemies down here, though. Yep, 
Yep. Run! 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 Where'd he go? Is he not? Is he not gonna come out? He's not gonna come out. I'm guessing. Right, let's go for something a little bit faster firing because these guys are very quick. Yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna drop them quickly because these guys are, they're fast. If there's just one on their own. Pistols are okay, but... Right, yeah, I guess in... He died, right? Yep, Bruce McLean died for this thing. Uh, Bruce McLean is dead, just as his fiance feared. You found a handwritten journal on his corpse. Perhaps it will shed some light on his end. Okay. Collect Bruce's boxes of cigars near Titan's End. In the journal, Bruce described a scam where he gathered local plant leaves, rolled them into cigars, then sold them to bandits while claiming they were prized off-world tobacco. With the money, he'd hoped to marry his fiance and take her away from Pandora. Apparently, his first customer immediately died of massive internal bleeding, and the bandits forced Bruce to use his own product as payback. You'd better round up these cigars before some kids, some kid gets hold of one and smokes it in a back alley. The journal mentions that Bruce's customers were primarily the bandits around Titan's End. I don't know where Titan's End is. We've got some rewards, at least. Don't need any of them. Only need one of them. And are you any good? I don't think you're very good, but that's fine, because there's something here that I can sell you to straight away. No, I get rid of you and get rid of you you're the other one i picked up right yeah okay so that's good got rid of him straight away it's good to know uh right okay so we need to pick up the cigars but yeah where's titan's end 300 yards in that direction uh meters not yards sorry don't know if i've been there before or not Well, that's where I... That's where I was last time, last episode, not last episode, episode before. Yeah, with the, uh, the diary entries. Right, so I haven't been this far yet. Let's see if we can go and grab these cigars quickly. I haven't been here yet, so I don't know how... I can hear... something. But I don't know what. Right, I don't think I can get through there with my car. That's annoying. And it's over in that direction. But I can't get around there. I have to go through here. Right, okay. So that has to be done in... On foot. So I think... That's going to take a while. Because I'm going to have to work my way through here. Which is... Annoying. Because I'm guessing I can't go up here. No. No, I have to work my way through. Let's see if I can blast some fools through here no one seems to be so if I can just wake them up then they tend to come out to me don't they but all I've got to do is just get their attention first seems to care well that's annoying how 
how do I get up there in the first place? Right, so I've got to go down through there. Right, okay. I think we're going to leave that until next time, you know? Um... Because I think that that's going to take a little while. And like I said, I want to keep these episodes pretty short and sharp anyway. So, yeah. I think that we will wait and do that next time. I want to thank you for joining me today. I certainly hope that you join me for that next time. But until then, I bid you all adieu. A good day. And a massive GG to you all. This has been a Rich T Entertainment production. If you like this episode please like and subscribe if you wish to see some more videos please click down below